In a chorus of chrome rattling choppers, the message is loud and clear. Around here, bullies beware. A little boy should not have to go to school and worry about being beat on, picked on. Sadly, that's exactly what 11-year-old Phil Mick was facing daily for years. Kids will call me names and kick me and punch me. And it didn't take long for Phil's mom, Tammy, to notice. I moved his hair to kiss his head, and like I always see when he has a headache, he had a great big bump on his head. Pain only a mother can know, with Phil's torment getting desperate. I'm talking about suicide and everything. One day, Tammy told her son, enough is enough. I said, we'll take care of it. I said, God will send us an angel. I said, we'll take care of it. Little did they know, Tammy's angel would end up being hell on wheels. He was talking about killing himself because he wasn't even happy from getting bullied and picked on at school, so it broke my heart. So biker Brent Warfield organized an end to Phil's slumping self-esteem. We got him in a pair of chaps uh, and a helmet. Gearing up for a ride to remember. More than 50 bikers joining together from all corners of Indiana to escort Phil to his first day of sixth grade. He was smiling and just happy. An 11-year-old easy rider making a grand entrance to middle school. A band of brothers giving a boy the strength to smile in the face of cruelty. I cried, knowing that people are out there going to watch over him who cares about him. And leaving bullying <laughs> in the dust. I love you. Love you. For today, Steve Patterson, NBC News. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.